Hey, we're going to talk about something very, uh, I don't know, controversial, misguided, lied about, something that involves a lot of mendacity and a lot of misunderstood truth and things like that. Uh, so we're going to get right into it. And since the topic is on sex and other small aspects of it, first you want to define what sex is. And sex is anything you do that is sexual. Anything that gets you sexually excited. It doesn't matter if it's kissing, rubbing, staring. Yes, staring and looking at someone that is sexual. That doesn't that doesn't mean it's rape or molestation or anything like I molested her with my eyes or I was molesting him with my eyes so far away. No, it's not plausible. It's not to anyone even think in those areas obviously don't have a rational part of their brain they just don't and I'm gonna just judge it as that because it's impossible to actually physically molest anybody with your eyes you know you can look at somebody and find them very attractive and you look at the parts of them and yada 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 so the, the and and a lot of this stems from honestly religion it stems from religion so much how do I control you sexually? How do I control who you have sex with? How do I control, uh, uh, you know, what is sex? What is gender? What is sexuality? What is anything dealing with your body? And it's and it goes off into other tangents of reproduction and and thought crimes and things like that. So, if I'm watching, like the, when I was growing up. Porn was considered, if you watch porn, it's considered cheating. And I don't know if any of you ever grew up hearing that. But if you watch porn, you're cheating. And it was always the guys watching porn. And I'm thinking, guys are watching porn, but the guys are watching the women in porn. So then you get the movements of, you know, the whole, they're being exploited. It's like, uh, no, they're not being exploited. The guys watching porn paying, um... See, we went to the porn shop a few, quite a few times. Cedra, Cedra bought most of the porn. <laughs> that shocked my mom. How are you going to watch that stuff? You know, how, how does Cedra feel with you watching it? And I looked at her and I said, Cedra bought most of it. And that pause, that stunned look on her face. <laughs> Cedra was like very hands-on in picking out what we got. You know, I wanted certain things because, uh, yeah, man, I like DP. I like watching it. Um, that's just me. If you don't know what DP is, go look it up. You know what? Screw that. Double penetration. We can all adult today. <laughs> we can adult. Um, <laughs> and so watching that, you know, watching porn, watching all kinds of porn, all levels, and listening to people on TV where it comes to these mega churches or these news branches and things like that, talking about chastity and your virginity and you're used and all this other stuff and then years later hearing the same stuff and then i finally got fed up listening to mr atheist uh do a basically a debunking of uh like these mormons or something like that since he's ex-mormon he does all of his videos primarily on mormonism and so i'm just listening to them and i'm like man you know at first, you know, I'm just blindly listening while I'm working on a wrestling game, so I'm just not really catching most of anything until I hear certain things like, wait until marriage. Should you have, wait until marriage? Should you have sex? Who should you have sex with? And so I'm like, my, honestly, I thought, shut the fuck up. That's really, <laughs> that's really all I thought. Shut the fuck up. So here's the thing. The first question, because I put down three questions I thought I kept hearing uh, repeated on that. So that would be, what is sex? So what is it? anything you do sexual? It could be licking on the you know, ear. It could be, as I said earlier, watching somebody from afar. It could be how you, uh, you know, stimulate yourself. It could be anything. You know, if you do something with yourself or something or someone else and you are aroused, you know, pretty much by any means, it's sexual. And it's sex. It counts as sex. You know? And a lot of people, a lot of ignorant people. You know, Hold on. <clears throat> a lot of ignorant people out there. Y'all sitting there being like, look. 
I ain't fucking her, so it ain't sex. No, it's sex. If you rubbing on her thigh and getting off on it, if you if she's rubbing on your chest or your arm or something like that, hey, if two people are doing anything together and they're kind of getting off on it, sex. It's sex. Eating ain't cheating. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You know? <laughs> Sucking ain't fucking. It's like, oh, well, I mean, hey, go ahead, wife. Go ahead and do that. You know, it don't count. <laughs> yeah, could you really do that? <laughs> you know? And, and yeah, I ain't talking about man and woman. It could be woman and woman. I don't give a damn. Sex has no crap that we... That that's, we place upon it. It is what it is. It's like cancer. It's like uh, ill. It's like a virus. It's like a bacteria. It don't give a damn about religious scripture and and societal norms and supposed tos. It is what it is. So that's what sex is. If you if you get off on humping exhaust pipes, then that's sex. <laughs> that's why we have pansexuals. You know. We got all kinds of sex stuff, you know. If you're in the whips, if you're in the chains, like sexual secular, uh, sexual sex, sexual secular sexuality. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. Like they say, your kink is not my kink, but your kink is okay. In other words, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like saga, you know, uh, sexual, uh, sexual and gender acceptance, you know, or sex and gender acceptance. It's stuff like that. Uh, so then, okay, so that branches off into, and then Cedra might want to chime in on this at some point, but what is the big deal about virginity? What's the big deal about it? And that's a good question. Why, why keep yourself pure? Religion will tell you you keep yourself pure because of God. And if that offends some religious people, then get the fuck over it. Because you are subscribed to the shit that does it. You believe in it. You side with it. And if you don't agree with it, but you're a part of it, guess what? You're a part of it. If I pay for a cable package for a satellite or something, but it comes with channels that I don't want, but I got to pay for them just to get the channels that I do want, guess what? It comes with it. When you are paying a hundred and some dollars for your satellite or your cable network when it really should cost about 30 some dollars you know what you're paying for you're paying for their makeup cost of the nfl channels and other sports channels that you probably don't want probably don't care about but it's a part of it so deal with it religious people all right you are a part of that you obviously have to go with it somehow because if you don't you're not religious you want okay so what's the big deal about it they want to keep you holy virtuous they want to keep you pure you know which is honestly bullshit it's it's all bullshit what it is the whole thing about virginity is simply this and and it's done from kissing from touching from just a gaze it is, and it's crazy. This sex is easy. It's, it's not complicated until you start thinking about certain things. And that is, and I'm, and this is going to be spelled out here that nobody else wants to go into because they're, I don't know, cowards or something. But your whole, the whole point of your virginity is the first person you have a sexual contact with tends to be that person that stays in your life. You know, now... It, as I said tens I ain't say always it's not 100% it depends on the person and circumstances environment and all kinds of stuff that happens in their life but someone like your first kiss that first feeling that rush that emotion you know you you when you do it and it's like whoa you know that whoa man and then you think about how good it was even if it won't the best kiss you could ever have later in life that first one is like man and anyone anyone who's gone in relationships at some point thinks about those emotions thinks about that first feeling and part of them that says i want to get that back just for a moment i would like to get that feeling back so when it comes to virginity of all magnitudes it ain't just sexual intercourse it could be a lot of stuff and you think, man, no one felt like this person 
sense. It leaves that trail. And some people lose their virginity in some sort, where there's just a feel, a look, acceptance, being validated by someone that you have a crush on or something. Nobody later will be able to match that. They just won't. Now, they might build a respect level that crushes that, yes, but there's that feeling, that initial feeling. Like the very first time you go out and do something on your own, whether it is driving or paying for a bill or something you do on your own from your own merit that very first time, that first time you actually feel accomplished. And you're going to pay bills for the wazoo for a long time, but that feeling of freedom you're not going to get from paying any bill afterwards. <laughs> That's how that goes. So the first time you have sex with somebody, if you, and they always go with the girls because guys, we just don't have emotions. We're just boxes. Guys are just boxes. You know, you put your clothes on. There's nothing cool or sway about it. It's just, you know, you're just a box. Deal with it. Girls are the curves. They've got everything, you know. They soft, jiggle, smooth, and they, they just look like, yes please what do you want you know and if you are a guy that's into guys your dude is a box <laughs> but you'll see but if you're into guys you you know you see the curves and the muscles and all this other stuff and that's just that's how that is you know i'm not gonna see them pigeon pigeonhole anything or this topic you know everybody has their own interests but you have that loss that very first time with somebody yeah they can always come back to your life you always leave a hole open for them. And that can usually ruin your life. Because even though you know that person was probably a jerk, somebody you should never be around at any given point, but any relationship that you have, they just might happen to stir up. They just come around and suddenly you're like, you know what? Just it's been a long time. I wanna reacquaint and you know, we're just gonna chill and go out and you know, all this other stuff, and then I'll be back, or you know, you don't have anything to worry about and all that stuff. But you know it's just rekindling emotions and things like that. That's really all it is, rekindling emotions. Maybe you want some closure on something, but they'll always be able to say or do something because you want that feeling back. You remember it. It's a tether, you know? And it's a tether that can't really be broken all that much. You know, over time, do you get over them and do you kind of forget them? Yeah, you forget a lot of aspects of it. But... That's why virginity is so guarded amongst a lot of people. And religion just gets it wrong. It's like, do you want someone that's been with someone? They become trash. They become garbage. You don't want to, you don't want somebody that's been with everybody. I get that and I understand that. I just don't fully agree with it. It depends on why. There's nuance involved. So you can lose your virginity actually multiple times over. You might be with the, your, the first person you kiss and that person can't kiss like anyone else. Then that first person that holds you, nobody's ever going to hold you like that and make you feel exactly that way. The first person that you probably, you know, little cunnilingus or fellatio with and or maybe 69ing it, you know, basically give and take and you no one ever be do that. And then you've got the whole, you go on your own set, you have your own, hopefully you've been doing it since, you know, maybe teenage or preteenish, that you have your own sexual exploration. So you do a lot of your own, uh, per se, personal virginity loss to yourself under controlled environment, should be your room or someplace, not with others. Just be yourself. And by yourself, watching what porn or whatnot, or reading a book, whether it's educational or just straight smut, it don't matter. And get to know you. That's the most important thing. Because I'll be honest with you, if you don't know you sexually, you don't know who the hell you looking for sexually. And you can't just look at someone and tell what they're all about. Although, be it I see somebody, a, a girl that wear glasses, I'm like, yeah, she, she knows how to ruin somebody. Yeah. That's just me, though. <laughs> and that's just my own thing. There's nothing I believe. It's just my own thing, and I find it funny. Um, so that's the whole thing about Virginia. Now, did, Cedric, do you want to say th something about the whole? You forgot you was going to say? Oh, poor thing. Well, maybe you maybe you remember it later. Maybe you remember it later. Now, let's see. Then it says, should you wait until marriage to have sex? 
okay should you should means obligation so are you obligated to wait until marriage no you're not no and you don't have to I'm not saying you shouldn't I'm not saying you should I'm saying you don't have to you can have sex whenever you want just oh she remembered here we go so when it comes to waiting until you're married to have sex that um leads people to make poor decisions because you have teenagers who have all of these hormones and curiosities pumping through them and they've made this pledge or been forced to make a pledge they'll wait till they get married to have sex they'll get married as soon as possible yeah it's like can, can, can i hit that no, it, look, I'm waiting for marriage. Look, let's go on down there and get married right now because I is, want to plow. This is me. males and females. They'll get married just so they can finally experience what sex is like. And then most likely they're, they're married to someone who they don't really know, they may not like. And if they're then back, they've been that cloistered about sex, they haven't explored themselves. They don't know what they like. They don't know what they're doing. The person they're having sex with don't know what they're doing. It's a whole clusterfuck. That usually ends badly. Are you fucking or are you rocking the music? Unless. Huh? <laughs> That's what. <laughs> I think about the, the, the guys that get on top and you see them in the movies and they're just sitting there like nodding their head like they're doing something. It's like, are you fucking or are you rocking the music? Because right now it's just a little mush going down there. And <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. The whole stigma of having to wait till marriage leads to a lot of bad decisions. Now, if you're still deeply imbued in religion, then you're going to stay in this terrible marriage that you entered into just to experience sex. And I guess hope that it gets better. I don't, I don't know. But in, in society now, especially going forward, less people are marrying. Less people are staying married. More people are interested in continuing and excelling their career they don't want to find someone to share bullshit with until they die so if you don't get married so you just not gonna have sex nah that's that's that's, that's not gonna, that's not how it's gonna go down it's not reasonable it's not rational take them to a prostitute there you go that's that's that look if you're a real man you take your son to a prostitute let him drop it off and then you know there you go I know that that sounds such like bullshit, don't it? It sounds like all kinds of bullshit. But that's what happens. And the whole virginity thing, it unfortunately, people treat males and females like they're different. You know, like one's human and one's I don't know what. But the whole virginity thing is all about females. Females have to stay pure so they can wear white on their wedding day and give themselves to their husband. If you don't hear what's wrong with everything I just said, there's something wrong with you. Um, but that's 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 not how it is. Um, when it comes to virginity, you need to make a decision that you're sure you're not going to regret. I think that's maybe one of the the basic criteria. Not religious, not married, not what is so and so going to think. If you can live with losing your virginity at a party on a mattress in the woods, that's 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 your prerogative. It's not safe, but that's your prerogative. If you want to wait till you're married and give it to whoever your husband or wife is, okay, but that's not going to work for everyone else. They try to make these set rules and criteria to that everybody's supposed to live by, and it doesn't work for everyone. And then, of course, the whole idea of Waiting until marriage to lose your virginity is also only talking about the the importance of female virginity in a heterosexual relationship. So that excludes large parts of the of the of the populace as it is. You know, you have to be able to think past your hormones, especially in your teen years, and that can be difficult. So it's all about making decisions that you don't think you're going to regret. Don't do it. Oh, he's so popular. Oh, she's the cheerleader. You don't, you don't go with that. Why are you in love with this dude? Well, he's funny. Why do you like her, man? She's thick. She got it going on. It's like, well, what the fuck do you know about these people? Well, I mean, we cool. Shit. You know, they look safe. 
okay yeah those, those aren't the right criteria for having sex at any time not just the first time any time You just shut the fuck up and then hand it to me, huh? It's just, what the damn? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what the hell? I have a plethora of You're words. When they, when they stop, they stop. So I know you, you got some. Go, go I can ahead. I can talk to the day damn ends, man. That's just me. Because, the, look, this whole thing in a nutshell, do things for you, not for anybody else. Your virginity in terms of everything I've labeled before, all right, it's just it's just a guideline for you to be a little cautious. Just think in general, the person that you're about to do things with, do you want this person, because learn their personality a little bit, do you want this person to be a stuck in your head for the rest of your life as someone that, you know, you shared something with? Now, I can see if you got tricked. You know, you put your best foot forward. You look good. You know, you do the whole thing. You know, shaboing a boing. And then later, you're a jerk. What the fuck was I thinking? Like, well, see, you got tricked. And that just happened to be life in general. And, you know, people blame themselves. You know, how was I so foolish not to see? It depends. If they were really disguising themselves, you weren't foolish. They were just that great of a liar. Now, if you got there, <laughs> I'm be honest with you. If you got there at a bar and we, you're a virgin or of any f magnitude to anything, you could look, you could bang until the day is long. But that that don't really mean you've ever really had sex. <laughs> that don't mean you've actually fucked either. It just don't matter. It just depends on what you're used to. And when you come across someone, oh, matter of fact, just to get that point across best, uh, the color purple good movie good movie and the girl uh what was her name what was whoopi's character playing Seely. Seely. and you know she's with sugar it's a shug shug okay and and she's describing sex with mr and it's like just feel like he going to the toilet on me just doing his business and it's like you still a virgin in a sense, because yeah, she's been raw dog many times, but she's never experienced actual, you know, mutual enjoyment and yeah. bliss of sex. She's she's just been a, a humping mattress, and that's it. And then she can lose that virginity. So his virginity ain't just fucking. It ain't just you know bumping uglies. It's literally a state of mind. It's a state of mind. You can lose your virginity various ways multiple times over. And to whom you lose it to, they will always have that little jacked up piece in your mind for the rest of your life. And you got to wonder, do you want that jacked up person a part of your life like that? <sighs> so even though the deed is done, the thoughts never end. That's, that's really it. And it's just something for you to think about. And if you're trying to impress God, I say this, sit down in the room by yourself quietly, blissfully, and legit ask God what you should do, despite everyone who believes in him already telling you what to do. And if he, because we control what gender and sex God is, he's all powerful, let's control that. But if he actually talks to you, please I ask, share that with us. Share exactly what he says and describe the voice, describe the tone. You know, we would like to know, show some evidence. Because in all honesty, people talk about virginity like it's a tangible thing that sits with you and it's not. It ain't like a ring that falls in the drain. You don't lose it like that. And if you haven't heard all that I've said, then obviously you don't know how the hell to lose it. You got to wonder if you've ever really had it. <laughs> so, as I say, every once in a while, comparative reasoning isn't what you think, but why you think it. This is Cedric and Cedra for comparative reasoning. Thank you for listening. <laughs>